All right, we're going to take a look at problem number 15 from section 8.5. Uh, you can kind of see the diagram here. They tell you that angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. Uh, so let me go ahead and mark those two angles congruent there so you can see that. Um, they want me to prove that KM over JK, and notice that's uh, KM right here over JK, is congruent to MO over OP, okay? Well, if you notice, that's a side splitter setup, okay? We've got the two sides that are, that are opposite each other, uh, here and here and here and there. Um, and so this should come together really nicely. Uh, basically, the only thing we need to do there to, to show the side splitter uh, is to show that we've got a par pair of parallel sides. Uh, if you notice there, angle one and angle two are alternate interior angles. So uh, basically, first step in your proof, you should be able to prove that those two lines are parallel because congruent alternate interior angles imply parallel lines. And once you do that, the, uh, the side splitter theorem will, will come into effect. Um, so you could basically just go straight to the side splitter theorem from this point. Um, you could just go ahead and say that uh, KM is congruent, or uh, KM over JK is equal to MO over OP because um, the wording would say something like, um, uh, if a line is parallel to the base of a triangle, then it divides the opposite sides proportionally. Um, and again, if you don't like that wording, you can go check the book's wording on the, uh, on the theorem. But uh, basically, that's all that's going on there. So that's a very, very short one.